Hey you guys, this is Copper Fox Games and today I am doing the highly anticipated, much requested, how I install custom content on my Mac. Um, as you guys know, The Sims 4 was recently released for the Mac so all of us Mac lovers can play. Um, I was previously playing but I just had like a boot camped version on my computer. Now I'm officially back over to the Mac side. I prefer Macs, that's just me. Um, mostly for the editing software but anyways guys, I thought I would show you in detail where I get my custom content and uh, how I find it and yeah so basically all that and then how I install it and then I'll show you it in game as well whatever we find today I'm kind of excited um, so the number one site that I use to find custom content for the sims 4 is tumblr sometimes tumblr can be a really big hit or miss though and I'll show you what I mean so this is Tumblr. If you don't have a Tumblr, don't beat yourself up about it. It took me a really long time to sign up. I still don't reblog anything. I strictly use this just to download custom content. So we're gonna go Sims 4 CC, which Sims 4 custom content is what that stands for. Um, in case you didn't know, it actually took me a minute to make that connection that CC stood for custom content because I'm a loser. So anyways, uh, once you type that in, you get a lot of different things that come up. So this is some kind of hair mesh for a, a guy. There it looks like there's a flower crown. That's actually really pretty. I've never seen that particular flower crown. Um, somebody did like some tie dye beds, bed set or watercolor bed sets. Excuse me. Um, there are female athletic wear. Ooh, is that the Sims 4? Like I almost can't tell. It kind of looks like Sims 3. Hmm. We gonna download that. So you hit, whoa, whoa, whoa. JK, JK. Sorry. I prefer the ones that are really easy to download. So I might come back for that later. I wanted to show you guys what most of, most of the time what it looks like. So sometimes it will take you to other sites and you'll have to download from another site. But for the most part, that's not what happens. So, and sometimes Tumblr does this to me where it like whites out. I don't know why it does that. It just like, I don't know. <sighs> sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> so there's also like some different hair colors, some wallpapers. Ooh, I like that eyeliner a lot. That's pretty. More hair colors. Looks like some more bed set stuff, some hair. So that, that's what happens when you just type in Sims 4 CC. You get like a bunch of an array of things. So let's try something more specific. Let's go Sims 4 hair CC and see if we can find any hair meshes that I don't already have because I have quite a few. Have it. Don't have that one, but I don't particularly like it. Have it. I think I have that one too. I love this one. I just got this one. Um, see, and they white out periodically. I don't know if that happens to everyone. It might just be the browser that I use. I think I have that one too. It's really pretty. Um, I don't think I have this one. That's pretty. Okay, so let's say that I decide I like this one. I'm going to hit the download link. It might take me to another website. Okay, it's taking me to Mega Upload. I don't mind. I don't mind Mega. I'm fine with that. So you're going to go ahead and hit download to your computer. Now, something you got to know when you're downloading custom content is it is kind of a gamble. Um, sometimes you get custom content that works. Sometimes you get custom content that doesn't work. You kind of want to be careful with what you install. So like I might download four or five different kinds or like different packs and then I will install those four and then if something doesn't work I'll go through process of elimination by taking those four things out so um, let me go ahead and just show you how this works now that I have one downloaded so I'm going to go into my finder and I'm going to go into downloads and it's right her um, I'm going to go ahead and double click this. And when you do that, I have a program that's called Kika or I think that, yeah, Kika. You can get it for free online if you just search Kika into Google, download it, install it onto your Mac. And what it does is it will actually unpack files for you that are basically, how do I even, okay, this is it right here. Yeah, <laughs> um, it will unpack files for you that are zipped. I guess is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> so when you get the file, 
it looks like this, this little like brown zipped thing. When you double click it, Kika popped up like you guys saw and it put it down here for some reason. Usually it pops up at the top, but sometimes when they're named weird, it will be weird. So this one was weird. Anyways, we go ahead and what you're gonna do is you're going to right click. I have a mouse that has a right click on it. Um, if you can't right click, I believe you hold down a command and then click. You're gonna go to new finder window you're gonna go into documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4, and then you're gonna go down to mods. And this should have come pre-installed. There should have been a mods folder with a resource package in it. Um, I don't know where the resource package is or I would show you what I was talking about, um, but it, it should be totally ready for mods and mods and custom content and stuff. So these this is all the custom content I already have installed. So all you're going to do is go back to the downloads window, grab your custom content and drop it. So now it's safely fit and snug in my mods folder. Now I'm going to go ahead and launch my game. I'm going to I'm going to close Chrome. <laughs> I'm going to quit Google Chrome here. And then I'm going to launch launch Origin and I'm going to go ahead and launch the game and go into CAS and I will meet you guys back in just a second. Okay guys, I am back in Create a Sim and I'm technically giving you a small sneak peek because this sim is actually for my champion around the Hunger Games. Ariel made it in our failure mermaid and this is my technical starting cast of her i'm still working on her but this is probably close to what she's going to look like so you guys if you are watching this are getting a little bit of a sneak peek so we are going to go ahead and take a look at hair so we can see if that hair made it in here okay so far the game's not crashing so that's a good sign that the custom content hopefully worked and isn't going to give us any issues <laughs> and it looks like here it is oh wow it's really pretty so here it is and it's in game and that's literally all you have to do is just drag and drop this is a really pretty hair i'm like really glad i got this it came in a bunch of awesome colors too oh look at the pink she's all strawberry she's adorable Ew. Ooh, I like the red. I always like the red though. You guys know me. <laughs> so yeah, that is how you install custom content. And the same thing really does apply if you install clothing, if you install shoes, if you install makeup, if you install skin packs. Um, something else I do want to show you before I go is if you do install skin packs, where they are most likely going to end up is right under face. And you're going to go skin details and they will show up right here. So I'll actually zoom in for you so you can see. Um, that's a skin pack that I have. And so see how that made her skin like two. It's different. So yeah, I actually kind of liked that. She looks like almost more realistic. Hmm. Something to consider. Um, anyways, guys, that is all I have for this video. So I hope this was helpful for someone. If I left any questions unanswered, feel free to leave them for me in the comment section down below. I've really been stepping up my response game, if you may. And um, I have been trying to respond to every single person that has a reply button or reply options. So please do leave comments. If you have questions, you can always reach me on Twitter and Instagram as well. My name is at Chloe Copperfox. There are links down below for that as well as to my blog and my secondary channel. Thank you again so very much for watching my little fox cubs. This is Copper Fox Games signing off. Hey mermaids, if you saw the thumbnail for this video, I'm sure you guys are all very curious about this new do that I have going on. Today we are going to be talking about all things hair. So let's go ahead and swim on into it. So I'm going to show you all the